Okay, so a little while ago somebody came to me and asked me is it possible to create a game called Agario using Pygame and Python? Instantly the cogs in my head started turning and I came up with an answer which was maybe, which then slowly turned into a yes. Okay, so for those of you who don't know, um, Agaro is a game where you play the role of a cell and your role in the game is to try and eat smaller cells and nutrients to try and get as big as possible. Um, it's a very old style of game that has been around for I don't know how long, um, but the creators of Agario made it different by turning it into the, one of these uh, most simplistic um, online multiplayer games I don't know ever. Um, and it's just really popular for some reason, I don't get why. Um, so, yeah, so I had a go at make, um, making my own version, so without further ado, here is um, Pygario. Okay, so now I need to enter a name. And choose a colour. This colour pick screen is made in a module called Tikinta, which is still Python, and as you can see it can't run its own, but hey. Um let's choose red. There we go. Okay, now I have a colour, and off we go. So as you can see, I am controlling the um character with my mouse. I'm just Dragging around the screen, and uh, you can see up here the scoreboard. There are other, um, uh, other sort of cells um, whizzing around. Um, now, seeing as I can't do um, multiplayer, these are simply artificial intelligence. Um, very simple, and they have one of two settings. Um, they are passive and aggressive. Um, passive just wanders around um, collecting the nutrients, trying to get as big as possible that way, and it's a bit like a cow, um, not really thinking about anything. Um, but then there is another mode which is hunting, which you can see there, James is going after Bob here, um, where a larger cell will go after one of the smaller ones. Um, and they can actually kill each other, and they can kill me if I was small enough. Um, so yeah, maybe that will happen at some point, but yeah, we don't know. Um, and basically the only way to win is to be the last cell standing. So let's let James kill me, because hey. It's not working. Hmm. Ah, oh, there we go. And I died. So yes, yeah, so let's talk through how this works. As you saw, I used the mouse as a controller to move um, my cell around the screen. And that's fairly simple. Um, there are a couple of lines of code that do that. Um, and all it does is it targets the um, the character, looks for the cursor, targets it, and moves towards it constantly. Um, the enemies do basically the same thing, but instead of um, ran moving randomly, like in previous videos where the AI has just gone everywhere, um, they target a specific nutrient ball on the screen. And they were the small colourful dots that didn't move. So they whizzed around the screen everywhere. Um, feeding was simple, all you had to do was be in contact with or um, inside um, a cell or one of the nutrient, um, nutrient balls and you basically absorb it and, it, um, and you take points away from them and get bigger. Um, so feeding is very simple, um, but also as, as you feed more you get bigger, your level increases, but you also get slower, which is why 
it got so cumbersome to move around the screen so fast and it's also why the um, smaller cells were whizzing around the screen everywhere and being very annoying. So yes, in the future, if I were to improve this more, I would probably sort out the speed so you weren't whizzing around the screen from the very start. Um, I'd also probably in make it so that you can boost your character because currently once you get to a certain size it basically becomes impossible to catch um, the smaller um, cells and get rid of them. So it basically becomes almost impossible to win unless you have either amazing skill or, um, I don't know, luck, incredible luck. So yes, I'd also probably make it so that you can save scores so that you know how well you did last time. Um, maybe make the map a bit bigger because it was a little bit boring seeing just these three lonesome um, AIs running around the screen and you picking them off um, and getting bigger and bigger. So yes, thank you for watching. Um, as you saw, I've had to migrate to my Raspberry Pi. Um, for those of you who don't know, Raspberry Pi is a small credit card sized computer that is very useful for programming. Um, so yes, thank you for watching. Um, if you enjoyed it, like and subscribe. Um, if you really enjoyed it or can think of somebody who would, share it to your heart's content. Merry Christmas.